Now, an Israeli attack on the densely populated Jabalia refugee camp in Gaza has killed at least 50 people and injured so many more. Now, the search operations are ongoing. The, bomb, the bombing it sparked outrage across the Arab world and beyond. South American nations, Chile and Colombia have now recalled their ambassadors to Israel after the attacks on the Gaza Strip. After Israel acknowledged it was behind the strike, South American nation Bolivia cut all diplomatic ties with Israel and has reiterated its support for Gaza. According to Bolivia's ambassador to the United Nations, free Palestine is not just a cause of Palestinian people, but rather a question of global justice and peace. In el marco de su posición principista, de respeto a la vida ha tomado la determinación de romper relaciones diplomáticas con el Estado de Israel en repudio y condena a la agresiva y desproporcionada ofensiva militar israelí que se realiza en la franja de Gaza y la amenaza de la paz y la seguridad internacionales. Meanwhile, the U.S. has said 66 aid trucks have crossed into Gaza, the most since deliveries from the Rafah crossing with Egypt began. However, fuel continues to be blocked. Now, in a social media post, U.S. President Joe Biden has said, quote unquote, many more humanitarian aid deliveries are needed in the Gaza Strip. President Biden and his administration have refused to back the growing international calls for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, saying such a move would only benefit Hamas. Meanwhile, Scotland has condemned the Jabalia refugee camp attack. Scotland's first minister, Hamza Youssef, took to social media saying that this blatant disregard for human life must be condemned unequivocally. Youssef expressed remorse that children and innocent men and women could not be saved in the refugee camp. Meanwhile, a UN Palestinian refugee agency says Gaza aid distribution is struggling amid overcrowding and lack of fuel. As per the UN agency, distribution of food and medical, medical supplies is faltering in Gaza due to choking of streets with rubble from Israeli shelling and overcrowding caused by displacement of civilians. Look, we're facing huge, huge challenges to our operation. First of all, the number of people who have sought shelter in under schools and facilities is four times more than what we had planned for in any worst of the worst scenarios, if you wish, right? So, um, so we are overwhelmed ourselves. Our own teams are overwhelmed and stretched, and they are themselves, many, many of them have become displaced. We have lost 67 colleagues to date. Meanwhile, non-profit organization Medical Aid for Palestinians has called on the international community to broker a ceasefire in Gaza. According to MAP's chief executive Melanie Ward, Jabalia refugee camp attack marks a new low and should serve as a wake-up call to world leaders and politicians everywhere.